Next up, we have the Cloud Background Stamp. I'm really excited to share this one with you because it's really, really cool to create a really whimsical sky-like background. Our Alabaster Pigment Ink works perfectly with this to create a really, really fluffy cloud effect. Now let's head down to the table and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, everyone, and we are back with the next stamp. This is our cloud background stamp, and I can't wait to show you what it looks like stamped out on our cornflower cardstock. So I'm just gonna take some of our Brutus and Rowe pigment ink, and you just wanna kinda gently tap on this one with the pigment ink because a little bit of pigment ink goes a really long way, and our pigment ink is really, 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 really opaque and white. So, we might have to stamp this twice, not sure, because it hasn't been stamped before, but I'm gonna go ahead and stamp once. And again, you just wanna apply light pressure, no CPR here, and then we'll lift it off and take a look. And that pigment ink is sticky, oh my goodness. I just think that that's absolutely stunning. And I think we only need one stamp, which I think is great. So again, this is our cloud background stamp. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull it off here so you can see just how beautifully those clouds stamp out. And I was thinking earlier it would be kind of cool if you did them in green and drew trunks down and you could almost have like a safari uh, looking tree. So lots of versatility with this stamp. Okay, let's head on over to the table for the next one.